What's up Video 4 Nation? I'm Magic Bard and for today I'm going to show you guys how to do the Logan Paul thumbnail or how the, all those popular thumbnails you see on YouTube from all your favorite YouTube vloggers like Logan Paul, his brother Jake Paul, um, Mark Doner also does these. Any really high-end vlogger has created their own um, custom thumbnail and it's fairly easy. I'll show you guys how to do it in Photoshop and you guys can probably do it in really any type of photo editing application. So quick little overview of how it's done. As you can see on all of these, they cut out a part of the image. So usually the main guy, so Logan Paul here, and you can really almost, if you look closely, see where they did these um, cuts okay so it's really basic stuff and then they add um, a couple of elements on top of it so we have like a red glow here this white stroke over here they colored in an image to hide someone right here um, and then you can really see this throughout all of their thumbnails okay so you have a glow around the watch same white stroke and the blurred out blue background so Let's kind of jump into it and create our own. Um, so go into Photoshop and what you're going to do is go to File, New and we'll create this thumbnail. So you don't really need to do a full HD thumbnail. What I like to do is a 1280 by 720 thumbnail and because since they are so small you can also do a resolution of 150 and then these are your settings RGB color. Um, because we're not printing it out which would be CMYK so keep it on RGB color and good to go create it and then what you're going to do is drag the picture you want to use so I'm gonna drag that perspective shot if you haven't seen that tutorial definitely check it out it's a fun one and let's go with that so I'm gonna drag it right onto my composition right here cool and then the first thing that we can do is let's just duplicate this I always like to keep a clean layer on the bottom so hold down the command button and hit J and that will duplicate it so command J is how to duplicate in Photoshop and then with your layer selected we're gonna use this tool right here which will select the area that you're gonna cut out so instead of using the pen tool like we do in After Effects to cut things out this as you can see I'm click dragging will do a pretty solid selection of what I want okay now that looks pretty good I need to double check where all the stuff I don't want I'm gonna hold down option you can see the minus button right there and then just click drag to delete the sections that I don't want to be selected okay so it's got me all over there perfect right there good 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 and I'll even make this brush a little smaller by s pressing the um, opening and end bracket on my keyboard which is right under the delete key and let's just delete a little bit of that get my thumb in there and good that's good so they're they're really rough cuts I mean you can get really detailed with them as you want but once you get that you're gonna right click on your selection and go to select and mask okay and then you'll see this red area you can turn up the opacity turn it down to really see what you cut out okay and that looks good to me you can also feather the edge and shift the edge so this will shrink the mask or expand it by dragging this over here but I'm fine with that so I'm gonna press or actually I'll show you really quickly um, if you guys have hair in your shot that you need to get there's a little fine selection tool right here where you can highlight the hair and it'll do a fairly solid job of getting that in the selection as well so I'm gonna press OK that will create my selection we can see that just by hiding this under this image under here okay and now what we're going to do is create a stroke around the image so there's a few ways of doing this you can add a layer so just by clicking this it'll add a layer between you and your background and then you can use the brush tool so I'm gonna hit B for the brush 
and then select the color you want to use which I will select white and then you can just make a nice little outline right around your image okay so that's one way of doing it and then just kind of go all the way around really quickly and you know and this is rough nice and fast and boom now I have my outline I'll turn this off for now just to show you the other way you can create an outline is by double clicking on the layer that we just made the cutout on and you'll see this little layer style where you can add stuff like a drop shadow um, and it, you can even add a stroke in here so if I select stroke you can see how it just created a stroke around the whole cutout image that we have and I'll turn up the opacity so it's not see-through and boom now you have a solid stroke in there you can change the size of it right and the color so really however you want to do it um, now that's something we don't want and you can use the mask tool to get rid of that but we already created a stroke so we don't need that what we also can do is add the glow that I showed you in Logan's thumbnails so you can see he had a little red glow here a little yellow glow around the Rolex watch um, let's see how we can do that so there's an inner glow there's an outer glow um, this is the inner glow which is really adding a glow on top of the cutout image that you created um, let's see where's our where's our other we have an inner shadow okay so you guys can really see how Photoshop has all kinds of options for your thumbnail which is pretty awesome I love using Photoshop here's our outer glow and you can add whatever color you want so just make sure it's selected and create the glow that's right for you so I'm just doing this really quickly I'll go with a red glow and then I'm gonna turn it my uh, my stroke back on and now let's do something with the background so in Logan's backgrounds he usually usually blurs them out so we're going to have the background selected so I'm just going to rename it and call it background and add a blur to it so let's just go to filter blur and get it with a nice Gaussian blur okay and if you select this preview button you could see the blur on your image how it will look like so I'm gonna turn this one up maybe to 4.5 pixels okay and then I'm also going to add a color on top of that so we can do the same thing where you just add a layer and then add a color to that layer or you can go on to this button and of course you can't see it great um, it, like right under it there there's a selection called solid color so click on that and then you can add a color to your image so I'm gonna go with a blue and press OK and then turn down the opacity for it so with this layer selected here's our opacity turn it down to maybe 50 percent and now we've got that now maybe you want to add a text to your title so we can go down to the text and perspective tutorial okay and then of course if I hit command T I can move this resize it um, rotate it and all that kind of stuff so I'll do that and then I'll hit the enter button to put it in place good just like that and then I can I have all the same options with my text so if I double click here I can add a drop shadow to the text and this should be a black drop shadow cool you can bevel the text as well make it look kind of 3d maybe this is a little bit too much so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit like that and cool that looks good to me um, what else can we do we can also brighten up the image so I'm actually pretty dark here um, we need to fix that so I'm going to add a 
little curves effect. So, you know, you guys can't see it right now because it's off the screen, but down here there is a curves effect. So select that. Just make sure your layer is selected. And then just right click right here and then click on create clipping mask. So that way this curves effect will only affect me. Okay? So now let's mess around with that. Let's turn up the brightness a little bit. until I'm a little brighter okay I'm gonna go with this and as you can see the clipping I'm actually gonna delete this layer mask and then I'm going to option click on this layer mask which will create a uh, mask that I can really pinpoint and make a detailed selection of where I want that curve adjustment to happen. So I'm going to hit the B for my brush tool and fill in the parts that I want to be bright. So with the white color selection, I can start to fill in where I want this brightness to happen. So if I right click, I can also change my hardness which is the same as uh, feathering stuff in Photoshop so this is all the way completely feathered and then this is a solid like straight line hardness okay so I like it really nice and feathered out I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and do a little bit of that hit the V on my keyboard and cool now I can actually see myself so let me just show you a little bit of what I just did right there um, if this is also too bright I can turn down the opacity for it maybe 50 percent and cool guys that is a basic thumbnail um, you can also add some other stuff to it I uh, I got these little flame PNG files um, you know sometimes he likes to add you know little PNG files whether that be a arrow an emoji um, this one with Mark Doner has flames in it so let's just try that one out so I'm gonna throw this little flame guy on here resize it down and maybe there's fire coming out of my coffee okay and boom right there press enter and I'll put the flames or I'll put the title let's see where is that the perspective tutorial title I'll put that on top so it's on top of my flames and boom guys we're good to go you can really you can mess what mess around with that the, you also have your blend modes over here as well um, yeah whatever looks good to you right cool and that is how you create a custom thumbnail inside of Photoshop and we're basically done so all you have to do is go to file export and quick export as a PNG and you're good to go you can upload it to YouTube and boom Hope this one helps you out, guys. If this did, please leave us a like and let us know in the comments section if there's any other tutorials you guys would like to learn more about, visual effects and that sort of stuff. Love to help you guys out. We're going to be dropping some tutorials here soon. Got some fun ones. Um, if you guys like the director Edgar Wright, check out some of his videos. I've got some coming up in regards to that. And this is Video Fort. I'm Magic Bard. And I'll see you guys on the next one.